Welcome viewers to part 2 of this restoration video. Now if you haven't seen part 1, I suggest you do see it. However, I'll quickly recall part 1 so that there is continuity in my explanations. Well, you can see that this set was in a very poor condition. Uh, it's as if it was discarded and thrown in the dustbin. And uh, waiting for a new lease of life. And the frame was literally falling apart. I, in fact, had to take it apart. It was, uh, at some point in time, joined by nails. And that's probably not what the manufacturers do. The frame had to be joined and aligned properly. As you can see here in the picture, it was glued on all sides and uh, fillers had to be used on uh, the corners where the plywood had uh, simply eroded away. All the four sides were covered with a light brown shade of Rexine and I didn't want to remove this Rexine, otherwise it would have resulted in more damage to the plywood surface. The reason that I couldn't restore this video earlier was simply because I just couldn't find the right pattern and shade of the radio grill cloth. Well, it turns out that PVC placemats, well, some of them which have basket weave designs just as this one, can really serve the purpose. They almost look identical to radio grill cloths except the fact that they're not made of uh, cotton or any other fabric, they're made of PVC. And not only that, they're acoustically transparent as well, so that the loudspeaker sounds absolutely wonderful. And this is the original grill cloth. You'll agree with me that this uh, basket weave pattern of the PVC placemat really goes very well. And when I hold it up to the light, you'll see that it is acoustically transparent and therefore is ideally suited for this purpose. Well, this, as you know, is a complete reconstruction of the frame of the radio set. And therefore, I had to make sure that the tuning indicator dial plate as well as the loudspeaker frame fit properly. I also made sure that the original labels and stickers were intact. Once I had the grill in place, I decided to use an acrylic wall sticker design for the four sides. I chose a light colored teak wood design, which you'll notice turned out to be the right shade and matched very well. And uh, that's what a good decision looks like. Don't you agree? Well, coming back to the electronics, I added a main socket and I also added a 7809 regulator IC to ensure a constant 9 volt DC input. So this was an electronics overhaul as well. All the germanium transistors were good. All the electrolytic capacitors had to be recapped. There were some damaged resistors which were changed and there were other non-electrolytic capacitors which were also changed. The IF frequency was spot on 460 kilohertz, so there was absolutely no requirement of uh, retuning. A drop or two of switch cleaning oil for the band switch, volume control as well as the tone control was necessary and that sums it all up. 
Well, you would have noticed that this video is constructed in the style of a traditional valve radio. You have a very heavy chassis. Instead of sockets for valves, you have sockets for transistors, uh, for the IF transformers. You have tags instead of uh, a printed board. Well, it does make things pretty easy because you can easily change the components. I didn't make any changes to the two back covers because they had various markings and um, the Rexin looked pretty nice and clean. At the same time, this contrast and color actually looked good. It has been my endeavor and my restoration friends would agree that in the restoration mantra, one must try to maintain as much originality as possible. And if any changes are to be made, they must be done in such a manner without affecting the character of the set. Now one of the radio knobs was missing, so I decided to make a silicon mold from one of the remainder ones and cast it in resin. Subsequently I painted it and matched the color. Now originally the handle of the radio was held together by some odd bolt, so I decided to fabricate studs on my lathe machine. I think they are pretty suitable and add to the getup of the radio. और इस जीत के बाद विराट कोहली और कप्तान फाफ टूपलेसी के बीच जो बातचीत हुई उसके कुछ अंश आपको सुनवाते हैं। Yeah, just before we went into bat, we had a conversation and फाफ said, I have a gut feel that one of the top three is going to get 100. Then I said, the odds of a someone getting 100 looks like you right now because of the way you're batting. He said, no, I think it's you. So you called it. I honestly didn't feel like. It's going to happen so quickly in 2-3 hours time. Uh, about the fact that we got a decent start. Once uh, that partnership really set things nicely for us. And um, just naturally yeah. I was talking to uh, Deep as well post match. I said the way I've been batting in the net, I couldn't really bring that game to the surface in the middle. And I just felt like this pitch was nice enough with the new ball especially. Yeah.
एक लोकगीत और इसके साथ हमारा आज का कार्यक्रम लोक रंजनी यही समाप्त होता है कार्यक्रम सुनने वाले सभी श्रोताओं को नमस्कार और इस कार्यक्रम के प्रस्तुत करता थे शिव नंदन लाल I hope you like this video. Do see my other videos on vintage radios and electronics. Thanks for watching. Khel khiladi, khelon ka aina.